Hey everybody, are you there? Um, huh. Comments will appear here. I'm going out onto the balcony everybody. If you're already here, say hi of course. If you're not here, don't say hi. But if you are here, we're just nipping out onto the balcony. And, uh, oh, it's bright out here. Sorry, everybody. How's tricks? Got my mojito ready. Oh, somebody's there. Oh, that's just you, Dave, yeah? Oh, two. typing for a while because I think there'll be a delay with me being miles away I don't know because I'm not miles away from some people am I but here I am from the balcony as promised and um, I've got my mojito and I haven't got all my makeup stuff out here there's one reason for that it is boiling I'm dripping as you might be able to see um, so I thought I'd start out here and just like sort of say hi from the balcony but then I'm going to go inside the cabin because we have got um, air conditioning so hello to everybody and um, I think that's all working although yeah it'd be nice to see some of you chat or just type something out and post it and see if I can see it, but don't worry. Can you hear me in there, Dixie? Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, 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 I can hear you now, so I can see that people are there. Hey, everybody! Maybe it wouldn't let you on until two. I'm on the balcony. It is scorching, so... I'm going to get started inside very soon um, because it's warm, man. Warm is very warm. Um, we're here in Piraeus Port today, and I think the temperature is about 33, 34. Even now, it's 6 p.m. here, um, and I know it's about 4 p.m. in the UK. Got my mojito. Oh, that's strong. That's strong. Ooh, it's strong. Strong. Um, and I'll just do a little pan round before I take you inside. I um, hope everybody's um, as happy as I am today. Hey, Hazel. <laughs> um, and I'll just pan round so you can see. This is my view from my balcony. Um, and I'm quite glad because earlier there was a great big ugly sort of fairy thing there. Who wants that when you're on a cruise? Nobody. So, um, and I'm going to be going, hi Mel, I'm going to be going inside as I said earlier but I'll say it again because it's uh, scorching out here. Scorcho! Um, and I'm just sweating and I just know that I won't be able to get anything. And then we've got air con in the cabin. So I'm going to go in the cabin and um, do my makeup in there in a moment. I'm just saying hi to everybody who's joined us. And um, I'll show you what I'm wearing tonight as well. And then I'm going to do my makeup based on what I'm wearing. More mojito. <coughs> That's really strong. <laughs> um, happy days. So, hey everybody, we're gonna go inside. I'll show you around the cabin as, oh, I'll show you around the balcony as well. For those people who've not cruised, this 
is the balcony. Um, it's not huge. I've had bigger ones. Ooh, uh, um, but it's it's all right and it's lovely. So we're going to step inside, love, and I'm just going to put my drink down, and then we can have a little look around the cabin. It's slightly quieter in here as well, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so as you can see now, I am wet through because it's so sweaty. There's the balcony where I was. And here is my makeup station already. And this is the dress. Wait, there you go. That I'm wearing tonight. As you can see, lots of pinks and pretty flowers. I'll do some photos later. Um, oh, we tried the, the cabin and everything. Say hi, Degs. Hi, Degs. Oh, you're so funny. Yes, I am. <laughs> Ignore the um, guy on the bed. Um, you know, everybody's going to have a guy on the bed. Right, I'm going to try and set this up ready for the actual makeup that, that, that I'm going to do. I will have to wipe my face then. My glasses are sliding off because I'm so sweaty. Hello, everybody. It's me. Right. Oh, thank you, my wonderful assistant. Right, glasses are off. That means there's going to be some serious action now. Um, I've got all my stuff. One of the biggest things I've found... <sighs> look at this state of me. Um, about doing my makeup while I've been away. And um, that's made me admire everybody who's like lives in, in these warmer climates all the time. Oh, look how sunburn I am. I'm sorry about that. I'm actually, I think it's not sunburn that. That's just warm <laughs> from being out on the balcony. Um, is how you keep your makeup on. I'm absolutely amazed. I'm going to ask Degsy though to close the cabin door and that's because the aircon won't work otherwise it is much cooler in here and um i hope you can all see me all right there now yes good i've got posh lights as if i'm like a super film star and everything so that's always great and the other thing you'll notice is my lovely pink hair is almost gone um i had a swim this morning and a lark around in the pool and salt water and all the rest of it just gets rid of it. Now tomorrow I'll probably put some more. Oh, look at my little pink cheeks. That's because I got excited. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, check the back of this dress. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, thank you. Very sexy. Um. I always think it's a real shame that I can't see it because I like the back. Now they're dripping all down here. Okay, moving around at any point makes me sweat like a duty. So I'm going to settle now. Hello from Canada. Hi. Um, so the dress behind me is what I'm wearing. It's a very pale pink with lots of lovely flowers on, but it's got some green. So I might. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, Shelley? I might do a similar makeup to what I did yesterday, um, which was sort of green, sea greens and um, like a salmon colour. Um, I'm not putting lashes on. You will be surprised to know. And that's because I tried it a couple of days ago and, oh, I couldn't. I couldn't do it I just gave up and because we had to be at dinner for a certain time it's not like when you're doing it at home and you can practice and, and do it again I just went forget it I'm not doing it so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, just wipe over my face I have already sun creamed my face and moisturized it but I'm just gonna use this little wipe just to cool it down a little bit because I am boiling all right I'm not putting any foundation on until I have to um oh look at those panda eyes as well panda eyes oh good. nice and shiny now right my usually go my usual go-to is 
how weird is it that I'm not at my house? So I feel a bit like sort of shy. Um, my usual go-to is when I start is to put some foundation on my eyelids as a kind of primer. Um, and I think I've said lots of times before that I use the foundation because I've got it and I don't want to use 53 products. Now I'm using my posh stuff today because I'm on holiday and that's um, some Dior, Dior Backstage actually, um, which I found because that's a bit more of a full coverage than what I usually use at home. Um, so it's not too bad. What you can't, well, I know you saw it earlier, but what you can't see is I've got like three mirrors here, so it's really cool. I can just look up and see what I'm doing. Great big lights as well. So it's very showbiz. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm probably gonna be just mopping my face till the air, air con kicks in again. Oh, I can just about see some of the words. Magnetic lashes are the only ones I can manage. Yeah, I, I tried magnetic ones, but the thing that put me off was because I got a bit of a reaction to the magnetic liner. So I've left them for a bit, but I might go back and, and try them out again. You never know. Now then, hair can get sorted out later. Um, so got a little bit of that, of that on there. Hey, Bob! My friend Barbara, who's from the group, lives in Arizona. So she's the expert for putting on makeup when you're boiling. Because it's pretty boiling in Arizona. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty boiling. I don't know why that accent came out then. Um, so, yeah. So far, it's been a brilliant cruise. Last night, made a complete fool of myself on, on, uh, on the karaoke. But it was a little bit unfair. It was the first time we did some carry. I'm putting a little bit on that on our nose. Bright red nose and bright red head. It doesn't look that, that bright in here, but it does in the video. Um, yeah, last night I... Um, see a bit because of the... There. That's a bit better, actually. Yeah, um, yeah there, was a, there was a thing called Rockaroki last night. And... Basically, it's like karaoke, except that you sing with a live band. Well, you know me, I love a sing. Well, you don't know me, but I do love a sing. And so <laughs> I went along thinking it would be like the karaoke. And on the karaoke the day before, they let us they let us um, sing without a mask. Because, of course, we've still got quite a lot of COVID restrictions on board ship. But last night, they insisted that I sang with my mask on. And it, it wasn't nice. Well, it, no, it was all right. You could tell that it was singing all right, but it was still muffled and not quite as lovely. So I don't think I'll be doing that again. Um, right, so I've got some product on my eyes. And I'm just going to wait for that to calm down while I... Uh, think it, maybe a bit of mojito will help. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> <sighs> this is going to be just hellish, isn't it? Okay, so all well, the things that I've learned. Oh, I have lots of my makeup in this little drawer on the on the uh, what is it? Like a dressing table thing that you get in the cabin. Um, and one of the things I realised at home, I don't use powder at all. I just don't because I don't need it, and I, and I don't use a lot of foundation. But here, I keep thinking, I wish I'd brought some powder, some translucent powder or something, because my face is bright pink, as you can see. I might put a little bit of um, foundy on. Sorry, guys. Um, we do have a little bit of time limit, and that is because Degs and I are going to our evening meal for half past eight. And we're eating in an Italian uh, restaurant tonight um, called Giovanni's. 
and it's a little bit nicer and I'm hoping that the foundation might cool my cheeks down a little bit I will give it a brush as well but I'm just having it on with my finger at the moment um yeah so we're in Giovanni's tonight for a posh meal and with a slap it um I think I might order some gluten-free pasta, but I don't know because the thing is, when you go to these lovely restaurants, you think, oh, I don't, I don't want to get gluten. I want a steak. I want, I want to get the full Monty. I'll, I might get some gnocchi though. They do have some nice gluten-free gnocchi. Should have brought a fan. This is much better. Okay. Right. Am <laughs> I driving you all mad with my with my cloth? I'm sorry. Right, okay, so I have got a little bit of foundation on my eyes just to be a base and I'm gonna use oh let me show you this as well that I brought with me. Okay, so I've got a magnetic palette here, and basically with all my other ma magnetic palettes that I have that that you know I'm a big Inglot fan and I'm a Colourpop fan, and you can take Colourpop shadows out of there things at any time so I've got quite a, a few of my favorite shades that I knew would go with things that I was bringing on holiday with me and I popped them all into this palette so this is my only eyeshadow palette that I brought with me and um, only one of my little pans crumbled on the way and the rest stayed all right so that's good isn't it um, right so looking at the dress there's actually a little bit of orange in those flowers and orange seems to bring my eyes out a little bit more so and I think it'll go great with the green so I'm actually gonna go for instead of a pink I'm gonna go for an orange let's find a brush here now yeah got my brush little brush and I'm gonna put a bit of the orange on now if anything goes wrong on here Feel free to laugh at home because I won't be able to hear you. So I won't get offended. I've got my little close up mirror as well. So I'm going to start with a little bit of orange. Oh, I tapped that off and I didn't need to. Not, not much of it went on. It's about trying to find a happy medium, isn't it? And seeing where you'll need to tap off and where you don't. Right, so this, I don't know if you can see that shade, it's its like a rusty orange. Now on my skin, which is quite pale, it comes out like a kind of orangey peachy. So that'll be a nice sort of transition shade, I think. Uh, so I've got that. Get some of the other eye, oh la la. I'm not tapping off as much because I realised that I didn't need to on that last one tapped it off and uh, if I'm gentle I wasn't get, picking up tons of powder anyway so, so I was being cautious so a peachy transition shade I always start with my transition shade I know I never used to um, like from all my youth I would start at the bottom put my lid very tiny lid do there then do there then do there and that's it that's how I would do it but now I start in the middle um, yeah sweaty sweaty Betty hi Jacqueline I can't read everything I hope you're not requesting um, stuff <laughs> but I'll be able to read it afterwards um, let's see if I can put my glasses on a minute <sighs> I'm sorry All right let's look Hey, be liking your... Oh, thank you so much. I'm just taking a wee break to cool down. And you can see I'm cooling down now as well in that. Um, I from the US, Melissa. You love my accent. It's very broad though. Um, but it sort of veers between, you know. Do you in the US have a telephone voice? Because us in the UK do. Like... We're, like, we're proper broad talking to neighbours and stuff like that, right? You know, and then the phone will ring, we'll go, hello? 
it's yes it's daisy hello it's nice to see you and suddenly we've got like a, a big posh voice well maybe it's just me i'm sure it's not just me though so right so got my nice little orangey shade on there and um i might just go for full-on pinks i might not do greens today i might have yeah pinks and maybe a, a green liner so uh, what i'm gonna do now is do a little bit on my lid but not much and um, just a little bit so that it's not like bald or anything so i've got a flat brush here just checking them whether i've used them already or not i haven't no so i've got like a flat one flat and wide oh i never got any water one minute Daisy, keep them happy do a dance or something no don't do a dance that's bad bad it's a bad idea it's a bad idea it's a bad, it's a bad idea for daisy to dance <laughs> i'm back i was just getting some water after remembering that when you're doing live makeup videos you haven't got to lick your brush. It's naughty. Plus COVID. Um, so yeah, great. naughty and gross. Naughty and gross. Here I am. Okay. Now my little flat brush is going to get a teeny bit of water on it. Not much, but a teeny bit. Then I squeeze it off my fingers, and then I'm going to get a really intense shimmery pale pink. <laughs> Yeah, I know. What a pebble. And I'm going to... Oh, look at that payoff. I'm going to just... Uh, like, paste it on, babes. Oh, yeah. I like that. Look at that shimmer. Love it. That's a Colourpop shade, I happen to know. From... The cloud spun um, palette. I like colour pop stuff because you get like a range of mattes, shimmers, even creamy ones as well. You get like a creamy one usually that's good for highlighting. Oops, went a bit high there. Wow. Almost went into a big old cut crease then. Cut creases are legendary in the Daisy handbook. Because she's not sure if they even exist. As in, I've never done one. And they always look way too hard and fancy for me. So, uh, I've done a bit of shimmer. And now... I'm going to do it. I'm so sorry it's so boiling. I mean, it's lovely being on holiday. Really lovely. But sometimes, part of the reason I can do lovely makeup looks in the UK is because I don't have any of this to contend with. That's for sure. That's why y'all who are in the hot places, y'all are heroes. How do you do it all the time when it's not like... I, it seems like when I'm in this weather that I only have to like stand up i stand up and i'm sweating it's it's like total menopause for everybody in it and i suppose that's good because it helps everybody to join in you know with the old menopause so i've got my transition color on and i've got a light color on my lids it's a lovely shimmery pink <clears throat> and i can see me using some of that on my lips later as well you know i like to do um lip colors like that now then looking at what i've brought I think that I'm going to go with I'm just going to test something out on my hand to see how that's so I've got um, a very intense pink but it's got a shimmer on it can you see so the problem with shimmers is if you want to use them to darken and get and, and like make shape um, sometimes it backfires with that shimmer because the shimmer is going to 
stop it doing what you should do and um, so I probably won't use that because a matte is much better for darkening and giving it depth that's what I think do I sound like I know what I'm on about I don't right so that is a lovely color but instead of that what about this copper see I'm gonna have the same issue aren't I yeah same issue with that one so I'm gonna go with ah oh, yes I've got a plummy um, a plummy shade here so put that on the back of my hand you'll be able to see it's a kind of plummy shade which is an inglot one an inglot do some shadows that are called uh, double sparkle or ds and then basically a matte shade but they have a tiny tiny bit of glitter in them i'd get it out and show you but i don't want to because i can't be bothered <laughs> um <clears throat> so i'm going to use a little bit of that i'm going to get the next brush along <clears throat> My other disaster that I had with my travelling was that um, I hadn't quite put the lid on my... Sorry, get a bit of this uh, shadow on there. I hadn't quite put the lid on my um, lash glue. <laughs> and it sort of kind of, uh, I think under the pressure maybe in the plane, it sort of squeegeed out a little bit. So it, uh, all my things are extremely grippy because some of them got the tiniest bit of lash glue on them even though I cleaned it all they still got little bits of lash glue right so I've picked up that colour it's a kind of plummy and I'm going to go in there and what I'm doing is that shaping because I know that I've got hooded eyes but would you believe I actually want to make <clears throat> make it look um, slightly deeper where that crease is because I quite like that depth that, that hooded eyes give us. Um, yeah, I like the fact that it gives you depth and a, a shape to your hoodie. Yeah, you see what I'm trying to do there? Good. I also like doing my makeup online, asking questions to the class and they can't answer back. <laughs> it's ace. Um, anyway, so I think you can see that I can in there so I've put some of the maroon right at the bottom and sort of ombre it up so technical yeah to try and give that a little bit more shape and also I think that it also makes this light color that I've got here stand out so that's it oh somebody said I've got beautiful skin thank you so much um I did get a tiny little zip on my on my lip there um, I think just from uh, two things first of all I waxed my moustache before I came and sometimes when I've waxed my moustache then it leaves it can I can sometimes get spots and everything um, so that's what that's what that might be you can hear everything can't you Degs yep brilliant I'm glad and you all can hear can't you yeah got my notifications off now, I'm going to go on the other side now. Because I'm definitely one of those people that if I've started a look, I've got to do the same on both sides. There is no way on this earth that the two eyes would look the same if I didn't do it as I went along. For several reasons. Because I'm a bit clumsy at times sometimes especially when I'm slightly tired um, and also my memory is terrible so I'd forget what I might have done and sometimes when you're trying to create a shade you start off with one color and you change it to another then if you tried to do it on the other one at a different time I'd forget which shades it was and do a totally different one and then wonder why they don't look the same. So I'm a little bit a little bit more there and I'm again apologizing for being somewhat sweaty. I am cooling down though. Oh 
had a great time at the pool but it's left me aching you know well you probably won't because lo loads of people on this group are a lot younger than me but when you're older and you're like me and you don't realize that you're actually older you do things <laughs> thinking that you're still like a little teenager My straw's busted, Derek, why won't it suck? It did then. Got a bit of ice in the bottom. Yeah, you do things and you think you're still a teenager, like doing a couple of widths across the pool. And then your body goes, you didn't tell me to bring mussels. You didn't tell me you were going to use mussels that you've never used for about 100 years. So then I came back to the cabin and absolutely zonked and was absolutely knackered. Hi, Sarah. I'm, uh, my friend Sarah has just joined us and um, she's, she's a big cruiser. She loves a cruise. You missed it. We were out on the balcony before, but we're not now because it's too hot. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I've got this and I might uh, just choose a nice big old brush. Just do a bit of buffing. But yeah, those co those colours are working really nicely together. The lower colour is a kind of uh, raspberry colour. And then because I use that pink that's got a more orangey thing, it's, it looks quite nice. I, well, I think so anyway. Yeah, so we've got that there. Now then, and then I come to that point where I think I know I want to define my under eye because my eyes are quite tiny really. I always manage with a with a makeup to make them look slightly bigger, but they're not particularly huge. You know, they're only teeny bees. So, do you think that my under eye should be a little bit of the green that I did before, or should it go? For, should I go for plums and purples? Hmm. What do we think? Any 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 ideas on that one? Oh, there's loads of comments down there. Um, I'm just scrolling up and down right there, there you go. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Because it's got some green in there, I'm going to put... Ah, yes, Shelley's here. I am going to put some green. Uh, it's going to be a dark green. Um, <clears throat> now then, I've got to find the right uh, brush. And also find one that I've not used much so far. Um, so I've got a skinny brush um, and I'm going to dip it slightly in the water just to give me so my, gen my general thing is dip it in some water which I've got in the top of my um, <laughs> travel <laughs> travel deodorant lid um, and then I put dip it in and then I squeeze it out so that it's just damp and I'm going to get this colour here which is from the Flamingo palette still tapped it off and I'll show you that colour now it's a, a sort of you can see that a teal colour I don't know if that showed up very well but it might do when I get going do the funny face And the other thing that's a, a daisy staple in all, in all my videos is it's going to be messy until I tidy it up. I think that's that's my usual go-to method. So what I can see at the moment, looking in my magnifying mirror, is I've I've got like fall out too much glitter there I've got a little bit there I've got some of this green on my waterline so I'll do a bit of tidying <laughs> that off there 
and I'm smudging a little bit with that cotton bud. There. A little bit of green. Certainly um, bringing out that those pink cheeks, but like I say, later on, I'm hoping they'll go down a little bit. And some of it is just because I'm talking. Um, when you're talking on videos, you breathe differently. So that's a bit wet. There you go. You breathe differently and your CO2 changes. So you get pink cheeks even if you're not in like Athens in the heat. Um, so. Oh, gross. Oh, um, also I forgot to say that this shadow that I'm using now is a wet and dry one, so great colour payoff. I always seem to get a better colour payoff on one side than the other, so I'll have to go back and, and I'm going slightly over in that corner, slightly over there. Um, and I'm going to go this side because I've got good colour payoff. Put some extra on there. Right. I've done this side more intense than this side, so. Just going to buff that down a little bit. Like you do when you have. I've got a mojito here, Sarah. From the ship. One of my diamond drinks. When you cruise a lot with... Royal Caribbean, which is the ship that, that I'm on at the moment, Jewel of the Seas, with Royal Caribbean. Um, as you cruise, you earn points. And at a certain point, they say, oh, you're so wonderful, we will give you four free drinks every day. Which is nice. <laughs> I used all four of them the other night when the football was on. Got very tiddly at the pool deck. <laughs> um, right, yeah. So, let's see. Um, I don't hugely love that. It's not terrible. But I don't hugely love it. But I think it'll look okay when I've put some of the other colours that I'm going to do. Now, what, what I do is assess it as I'm going along. And looking at it, what I really want is something even darker in that corner. And I do have... Um, like a mahogany brown that I might go for right in that corner. Um, towel. Drip. Yeah, I could do this. I could do this for a living. Cruise and just do makeup videos. That would be ace. Right, so I am just going to do it with my little finger. Because, you know, that's how I roll. And basically, right in this corner here, I'm going to squidge my little finger. Right in that corner there. Yeah, that worked. Okay, same on the other eye. Yeah, I quite like that. That'll do. Now, it's whether I do the wings or not. Do we do wing things or no? Um, okay. I have got in my arsenal at the moment, I've got to see where I've put it, a double tipped winger. Aha, uh -huh, it's in here. This little thing from Fuera, which I can demonstrate how to use for you all if you like. And basically it does have two sides so, and it will do, like, <laughs> some of your wing for you, but not all of it. It leaves a gap and you have to, like, fill it all in. But but the thing that I always find difficult is just getting the size of the wing and the point on it. And that's done for you, so that's quite good. However, sometimes when I try it, I'll put it on and I'm really uneven. Like, one's going that way and one's going that way. and So I will try my best 
bear with me if it goes quiet because it requires concentration. I'm telling you. Right, so magnified side, wing position, go slow because I do have like my hoodie things there, but you ignore any folds because you're going to fill them in afterwards. You get your wingy thing. And I don't want big ones, so I'm going qu uh, quite close to the very corner of my eye. And that's it, right? It's not it, but I'm going to leave that to dry. So that's my first bit done. Second side. Now then. Now I've got to make sure I look at that side and try and get it in the right place. So, yeah. All right, so angle it right, get really close. That'll do. You have to be prepared <laughs> to go with whatever happens because the alternative is wiping it off 15 times. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of a breeze and let that dry a little bit before I do any more liner and stuff like that. Um, it is cooling down here though. Um, so that's nice. Little Miss Pink Cheeks today. I wonder what the weather's like where you all are. I mean, if Barbara's still watching, she might be, she might not be. Um, I know Arizona's pretty warm. <laughs> um, but if she's not watching, I don't blame her because come back near the end when it's done, you know, when it looks nice. Um, and I know um, my brother-in-law who's looking after the dog, back at home, he said it was raining and he's a moaning, a moaning mini, so. Right. little moment of zen because I'm going to be using liner liner takes it out of a girl now I've got this one from Ico in London Ico London and it's fine but it sometimes needs a little bit of water to activate it and make it really smooth so I've done exactly what I was doing with that other thing I had my little water thing here and I just dibbed it in the top not let it soak up loads but it's just awakened it a little bit okay so and it's a felt tip type liner I may go silent for a while because oh my goodness liner is hellish isn't it I hate it Oh, cloudy and 26 degrees. 40% Where are you, Bev? Anyway, no, don't tell me now. I'm doing liner. Liner. Silence. Okay. So what I do with my liner now is I do dots. I don't do any sweeping and swiping of any lines on my face because... The old wrinkles just go. I don't think so. What are you laughing at? Sarah. What did she say? Glad you're having a great time. Be careful with the mirror. Let's say Glad Diggs is dressed lying on the bed. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Background fella. I said that. I said that at the beginning. Got my sexy guy on the bed. He's gone. Oh, you scared him now. He's gone over to the other side. Sarah. Literally. I don't think so. You watch yourself. Don't be doing ad libs and shit. Right. Okay. Now, my liner technique is to just go part of the way across. And I'll probably be even. I'm just checking this bit. I'll, oh. As I touch th this, my crepey skin with the liner pen 
it wiggles about but experience tells me it don't matter not a biggie right so what i've done on that side is i've filled in up to a little bit across my eye and about half of the way across the bottom one and um, the bottom one's going to smudge in anyway so that most of it's on the side but i couldn't go straight across i would look like um crazy because it makes my eyes look even tinier than they actually are now you can see on the other side that's what i start with and i've just got that it's like a curved bit on the wing which is quite good because it allows you to take it from where you've put the stamp and do it to wherever you fancy and because you're not touching that actual point of the wing which is the bit that always goes wrong for me then it's not too bad how are we doing for time, Degs? It's 6.47. Oh, we're doing all right then. So my dibby dibbing technique is because of crepey eyes. Crepey. Not crappy. Oh, I was trying not to swear then. Yep, so. I'm going to call that a day and let it dry. I might retouch later because I've got more things to do. But I've got it started. So I've got a wing on this side. What do you think? And a wing on this side. Okay. And in the mirror, that looks all right to me. Only all right, but all right. I think the beauty of... Um, short haircuts come out here as well now perhaps i should have my hair off my face <laughs> for a bit and then put it back down after mm. what i could do with you all doing if it's possible is can you all blow at whatever screen you're looking at and i'm hoping that i might get a slight breeze and it'll cool me down just just do that and um <laughs> it'll cool me a little bit get some drink Deborah get some drink right thank you mojito <laughs> oh thank you Wendy <laughs> back <laughs> that's probably a very warm breeze that you're not welcome not gonna welcome okay yeah I do quite like the green on the bottom just the touch so that's nice and um, I can always smudge that out um, if I was going to smudge that out, I'd use like a brush with no colour on, like this one. I think it's uh, one of those angled brushes, but it, I haven't used it yet, so... Or have I? Hang on. Ah, it might have a little bit of pink on that, so I won't use that because that's going to muddy me up. I'll find um, a smaller one. No, oh, this one. I, don't, I haven't used this one. It's very strange. It's a new one. Right, so I'm going to use that and um, I'm going to just smudge that green under there. That's all right. Now then, I will probably end up putting even more darker there. But I'm going to put a bit of highlight on now. So, oh, I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to do my brows now, right now. <gasps> Are you excited? Brows! Got this little brow pencil. It's not Ace. It's cheap as chips. I think it was 99p. Which is cheap. Those of you not in the UK. Um, but it's, an, it's, it's a dark brown that, that doesn't go on too intensely because it's cheap <laughs> but that's good for on your brow so you can you can build it up so I'll do, I'll do a little bit of a bit, bit, of, bit, of, bit of brow work ladies and gentlemen a little bit of brow work we might be moving soon 
And if we do um, set off from port whilst I'm still live, I will prep you now that it might mean that the internet signal goes a little bit wobbly um, from on board. I'm not sure what time sail away is. After eight. Oh, well, we should be all right. It, Daisy tells me, my happy little assistant, that it's after eight. Like the mints. Right. I like quite a natural brow myself. And I do have quite a lot of brow left. And that's because... <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Uh, the reason I've got lots of brow left is because I didn't touch them. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with them while I was younger. So I wasn't anybody who plucked theirs in the 90s. I don't think I wore much makeup at all in the 90s, really. Right, I'm going to call that a day. So, we've just filled them in a little bit. Because then, I'm going to... Do a bit of highlight just here. Um, what I'm going to do first on is that little finger of mine. <laughs> I think it's the the old eyes that help me to do this. I've got some very creamy white matte here, and I'm going to lay that down first up there. See, so that's a white matte. Oh, hi, Carla from Oz um, so putting this white mat down hi from um, I'm in Athens at the moment I mean I don't live there I'm on holiday right so white mat down first because I'm going fancy and I want like more of an evening -y look I actually want to really make that highlight that I'm going to put on in a moment uh, stand out. I look stunning already. <laughs> That's so exciting. Should have seen me at the start though. <laughs> gross. No, it wasn't really. Nobody's gross. But uh, I did have like quite a sweaty small eyes. Right. So I've got my hair out of the way at the moment because I can always read out, redo that. So if you can see now, I've, I've just put white matte where I'm going to put my highlight first and that white matte is an absolute genius thing um, because it's going to tone down the pinkness up there and then I can lay some highlighter over the top now I was thinking I might sparkle a little tonight but I might even put the sparkle on after so we're going to put white matte then some shimmer and then some glitter Um, but it's not a formal night tonight, so we can do what we want. I don't tend to do anything much for formal nights, but on cruises, that rosy cheek. Um, on cruises, they have certain evenings where you get really poshed up, um, and I've got a long dress for that. Yeah, well, when I say long, <laughs> it's four foot eleven. <laughs> um, so on somebody else, it'd be like calf length, but it's full length on me. So now then. I'm going to choose a very sort of pinky, um, pink, oh actually it's a violety, but I'm going to, I'm still going to choose that one, um, and that's going to go over the top of that white mat, and that does have a slight glitter, I don't know if you can see that, I think you can, ooh nice. And it's a slight glitter with a like sort of lilac-y thing. And being ever so gentle, treat my crepey eyelids <laughs> with respect so that they don't do me wrong. Um, so yeah, a bit more. And that's another of the uh, Colourpop ones. I think that might be... Um, from one that I just got which was called Inner Trance and that's got like lilacs and pale blues and things so so that one was from Inner Trance and it's kind of a 
ultraviolet one so I've got that on but I've also got some glitter but I'll probably do that when I've finished everything although hmm if I do it now I can wipe off any fallout that I get so let's see I have got some pink glitter here pink and green glitter and that is from um, cloud spun I'm pretty sure so and I'm gonna pop some of that on as well Ooh, baby do you know what that's worth yes I do right let's rub the excess off a little bit there a bit, bit more not putting much on because we don't want it to go absolutely everywhere so a little bit of glitter uh, you can just about let me get some on let me show you that one yeah it's like um iridescent pinks with every so often a little pop of bright lime in that glitter so that's nice very disco oh it looks very disco in the light there <laughs> um but i am going out for the evening so that's all right you know if i was going down tesco's it might be a little bit much but i'm not going down tesco's for a while because they're feeding me here it's really lovely best thing about being on a cruise <clears throat> they feed you all all the time just all the time right and what am i going to do about these pink cheeks now um, I said I wasn't going to put any foundation on because I haven't been but because I'm quite warm today I am going to put some of this uh, number seven intelligent color which is one of those it's all it's it, it's a liquid but when you put it on your skin it's a very very fine powdery thing okay so it goes on and it looks super dark look at that very messy but I'm going to move that round and it is intelligent it is it gives it a little bit of a matte sheen but it's very natural um, and it's perfect for holidays um, and you don't need hardly anything at all so a few dibs here and there oh a big grungy bit but there a bit there put a bit too much on there looks terrible when you first put it on look at that gross but then when you spread it out it's fine right oh look at that that looks like it's some sort of mud treatment now all right so it feels ever so smooth under your hands as well and it goes on really easily and it's basically, I think, mm, kind of like a powder in a, in a very, very fine mixing medium. Because when you've uh, actually spread it on, it's more like you've put a powder on or something. And um, because I've, I'm tanned as well, the dark colour doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do I need to, oh lips, we love lips don't we, we love lips ladies, so I didn't bring um, all my lipstick with me, oh you, you know what I'm not going to do lips yet, I keep forgetting when I've done my eye makeup and it looks great to me, I forget completely that there's a thing called mascara, so I'm going to put some mascara on um, to finish my eye look first. But I always find that, that from a distance, and especially if I haven't got my glasses on, I don't even notice I haven't got mascara on. And I like lashes and all that, but I, I just work as if I haven't got any and do the shading without it. So, massacre, bit of mascara. I am doing the bottom lashes first. Um, trying to remember. And I have got a tiny mirror, but it's... I bought a tiny mirror to bring with me um yeah it's coming out nice that foundation now i bought a tiny mirror to come with me um and 
it's it's got a slight, a slight flaw in it and in that it does it's a bit distorted so I've ended up using my heavier mirror anyway so lower lashes first and they should show up nicely with that green on my under eye a little bit more than just a liner because the green underneath it will make the black stand out that's what I'm hoping Yeah, not bad, that'll do. That'll do, pig. As you're doing these things, though, you notice little bits that you might need to retouch. Like, I've noticed that on this eye, my sweaty face has sort of rubbed off a little bit of that green liner that I put underneath. <coughs> So before I call it a done deal, I'll put a little bit more of that green back under there. Because it's not over till this fat lady zings, is it? Take a break. Blow again for me, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> Dixie's just blown. <laughs> Hello, Jade. Dixie's just blown from the bed to cool me down. Okay, uh, I'm just letting that dry a little bit. I know I've, I've got a few glitches on there, so I'll be uh, sorting that out. I've got a mojito, Jade, and I'm sending drinks to all the mods back in the in not on holidays because um, they're doing a fine job as usual. <sighs> he must have got a really good bartender because that's proper strong. <laughs> Is it hot there? <sighs> um, yeah, um, we're in we're in Athens. It's um, obviously late in the evening. It's about Nick coming on to seven p.m. here, um, and it's about thirty. Thirty four. Thirty four. Oh, it's thirty four at the moment. Ninety three Fahrenheit. At seven p.m. Like what? I didn't even know the world's temperatures like that. Even Kelvin didn't know. And he's a temperature guy. No, he probably did. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Just got some of my lashy mistakes. I hope you're not uh, falling asleep yet. Right, I'm going to try and do some upper lashes. I might open my other lash stuff up in a minute but I'm going to start off with this one because I prefer the brush on it do you do that um some mascaras they're running out so they don't put much mascara on but the brushes are better I do think sometimes about dipping them into the other mascaras but usually they don't fit so that doesn't work that doesn't work Deborah. Just called myself Deborah. Must be uh, chastising myself a lot. I'm only Daisy when I'm cheerful. I'm Deborah when I'm echoing my mother telling me off. Deborah, what have you got on your face? She'd be like, "That's far too much makeup." 
You look like a punk. My mum used to say that a lot because I was always dyeing my hair different colours. You look like a punk. Yes, mother. Trying to get those little inner, inner, tiny little hairs to be a bit more defined. At one time, I never even noticed they were there, and I would just end up putting makeup on this side, think that there wasn't anything there, but there is. And the more you uh, notice them and embellish them, the more they serve you. can't believe these beauty tips are so good not really <laughs> you know I'm kidding seriously okay I mean I'll put my hair straight later but uh, I'm just gonna cool down a little bit is that is that Mac um no I don't have any Mac makeup I don't think this uh, uh mascara that I've just used is a really good one good value it is Maybelline Colossal in the yellow and this is volume express and um i think they're both volume express but sometimes they do special editions this one happens to have purple lettering on it but it's the same product um and i use it because it goes on nicely because it's got a decent brush i did bring some tubing um mascara with me from ico that's this one here um and it's got like a weird brush. So I might put a little of that on when I've given that a chance. To go. Because what I've found with the tubing mascara is I, I can't get it on the bottom and it doesn't f fill out my lashes much. But it's good for extending a little bit. Although sometimes it doesn't even do that. Now then this one's got a tiny little curved brush. Can you see that? So... I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more length just a little bit more length so that I don't seem so bad and of course the beauty of this putting this over the top of that mascara which is not waterproof I mean it's smudge proof but it's not waterproof uh, the tubing mascara is waterproof to an extent so if I've got that on the tips I was doing a little bit, although it's a tiny bit clumpy. Um, then that's going to prevent, you know, that bit where it boinks on your hood. We know, don't we? Hoodie ladies. Um, because you've done your lashes long enough to bump on. But, yeah, that's that's helped a little bit there. So I'm going to put a bit on the other side as well. Because, um, you know... You don't want to get into a Sophie's Choice situation with your eyes. You've got to make sure you treat them both the same. Otherwise, one will sulk. I think Degsy's fell asleep. No. Oh, he says not. No, I've listened. I'm just checking. <laughs> I was just checking, darling. Sorry. Right. So I've added a little bit of extra tubing mascara and it's only a, a little travel one so um, on those lashes and that's enough for me. I do like um, using falsies every now and then but they give me stress and so I think when I know that I just want to do something and I don't want any stress I am um, so I'm just dampening that. I don't use falsies because no matter how much I practice at other times when it's not stressful, as soon as I, uh, gross, as soon as I come to do it, um, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, as soon as I come to do it when it actually matters, it's the fact that it matters then. It doesn't matter how much I've practised. I still get freaked out and go, ah. Right. How are we looking? Still got that nice little, 
suntan bit but what's the point of going on holiday and not showing that you've got a bit of color on your face i'm going to put a little bit of blush on but not much again i didn't bring much blush with me because yeah i don't really need it um but i've got a little one here from urban decay which is a kind of blushy shimmer it's a pink with gold tones so i'm going to use a little bit of that so glad you're still with me and that the that the live worked out because we're on board a ship at the moment obviously and i'm using ship wi-fi ship wi-fi um there you go uh so i was fully prepared for it to just go i ain't doing nothing for you And then a little swirl on the apple and then that there like that yeah that might look hellish when i actually get downstairs it might go um and look really weird because lighting obviously makes a huge difference doesn't it now highlighter because although that's got a little bit of a bronzer in it um i might put a little bit just here um, a bit of the Alchemist um, highlighter palette by KVD I mean I'll just leave it at that and not mention anything else now there are four colours in this one they don't look like colours because it's quite pale but they all have like a different iridescence so I'm going to use the one that's got like a um, a kind of oh no no I, i'm going to use the greeny colored one because i've only used a little bit of green on my eye and i have got quite a lot of green in my dress so if i use this little highlighter that's got a green iridescence it should be a nice um my nice thing for to go with the dress so let's see how that looks i don't want to do too much because it really can highlight oops not there it really can highlight the fact that i've got these creepy eyes but to be honest i behave as if it they, they're not there i just do whatever i think i need to do and if it accentuates the fact that i've got chubby cheeks and creases so be it cuz life is too short so i've got like that's got like a green iridescence so hopefully when i put the dress on that's behind me there um i'll have a great thing there i'm still like thinking my nose is a little bit red but i haven't really like i say got any powder or anything. let's see if i've got a slightly lighter foundation that might go over it a little bit just tone down my big red nose for a bit see what we can do there so a dibby dab oh that's quite light Oh, get those fingers working. That's worked quite well, actually. <laughs> well done. Well done, Debbie. Right, and a little bit there on that fod. And that foundation that I've just used is a very lightweight one from The Ordinary. And you know me, I do like my reverse foundation technique, whereby you wait till the end and then see where you want to add a little bit of foundation. And because it's not full coverage, you can just dip it on and sort of let it blend in. I put too much then. Um, so I'm just toning down the, that bit of cheek. I'm happy to have <laughs> I'm happy to have um you know the rosiness you just don't want it to go all the way over the bridge of my nose you know and that's working isn't it yeah well it's working in here I think you can see it in the thing 
I'm just putting it a little bit extra. Whoa, that looks like miracle stuff now. I should sell this stuff. Um, yeah. And it's still not very heavy, although I've got too much on my finger here. Let's just see if there's anywhere else needs a touch. Oh, and then I'll wipe the rest off. That's a little bit there on my gel, it's getting a bit pink. Nice work, if you can get it, Deborah. Right, that's going on my uh, towel now. Right. It's coming on, isn't it? We're getting there. All I've got left to do now, before I leave you, is a bit of lipstick. And we've got some nice raspberries in there. I'm not sure whether to go with quite a dark lip or um, a very light lip which will make my face look more tanned. Uh huh. So I have Charlotte Tilbury uh Velvet Underground, which is one of my favourites, and it's quite an intense cerise one. So I'm gonna put that on and if I think that it's a bit dark, all I'm gonna do is use a, a Q tip and take the inner bits off. And replace those inner bits with my lighter lipstick and leave the darker one on the outside. So let's see how that goes. Um, it's <laughs> smashing. Thanks, Venice. <laughs> Do you normally say smashing or are you taking them? Yes, it is smashing. Right, let's look. Oh, I've got a little, a little bit of dry skin where I had that spot before. I'll scratch it, Deborah. Right, okay, so. Very intense, isn't it? I will say this for Miss Tilbury's stuff. It goes on like a dream. Now. Got a slight dint there. Oh. Everybody should say smashing. It's a really good word. It's a smashing word. a bit more even but I don't know if it's too intense uh, bear with me because I'm going to turn the big lights off on the thing now right so what I'm going to do I don't want that to be just too much in your face and it is slightly in my face I'm going to do that techni technique that I just said. I've put my lipstick on. And I've taken the majority of the inside off with my lovely Q-tip. My cabin steward's not going to be happy with me. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of my favourite lipstick, which you all know is 404. And it looks like it's in my bag from last night. So hang on. 
here it is the best lipstick in the world this lipstick is 404 prismatic pink from l'oreal it's um a translucent pink um iridescent lipstick and i love it i absolutely love it it's great for going over other lipsticks it's great for just having a light shimmer when you go out it's brilliant for holidays absolutely brilliant so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put that on the middle i'll have to clean my lipstick off afterwards but i can't be bothered to do it with a brush so What do we think? I love that. Yeah, it gives a really good effect. And like I say, I just love this lipstick. Now I'll, I'm just gonna wipe it off a bit on my hands because I don't wanna leave it with the remnants of which you can do that when it's your own lipstick, but of course, if you leave it and forget, then next time you're putting it on to get that like pale effect and you've used it with some lilac or something. That's usually what I do. That looks really good. So, but I'm also gonna try and get that to fix itself a little bit more using some of this Alchemist uh, highlighter. It's a really good little highlighter kit. I know lots of people have this. And I'm going to go this time into the lilac one. Oh, no, I will. I was going to say, shall I put some green on the lips as well? But I won't. I'm going to go into the lilac one. I've just got a little bit on my finger. And I'm kind of using it like setting powder. Um... Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Try not to dip the same finger back into it. Because you will get lipstick. Wow, I like that. Now then, <laughs> um... I'm more or less done, but I kind of don't want to say bye-bye. Um, of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take photos before I go for my meal. And I'll have my glasses on and everything like that. Um, it's actually been really nice chatting to you all and putting my makeup on. Um, the only last minute thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of a little bit of contouring just here and here with um, another thing that I'll show you that's brilliant for travel. This is an Inglot palette. So basically Inglot make all these little tiny um, singles. They're reasonably priced, I think about five pounds each and they last forever and they are the best quality. They're just amazing. I should work for them. I really don't, but they are really good. Um, and I've got all my tops and neutrals in this palette just because I wanted to bring them along with that and the other thing I sometimes do this is another ingot palette that you can get as it cost about a fiver and those are magnetic as well and they can flip out and sometimes I'll take these out with me of an evening so that I've got something I can pop over my lips when I put my lipstick on because you know my my um sort of trend for putting powder over my lipstick <laughs> so I've got a little bit of this really sort of taupey grey-brown and I'm just going to do a bit of shaping. Just there. Recently, I've lost around 8 kilograms from eating better and from being a little bit poorly with my gallbladder which means that I haven't needed to shape my cheeks as much my face used to be super wide sorry about that 
I'm just going right in that little dint that has actually started to appear as I've lost weight and then brushing upwards to sort of give it a, a bit of shape. Now on this side you can't see because of the sunshine from the thingy but like just a little bit of that top shaping and then if it comes out a little bit intense you can always mudge over it just brush over everything else ladies and gentlemen i think i'm done i will do some pictures for you later it's been really really special to do an actual makeup live from a cruise ship for you all and i hope that you've enjoyed it because i have and um i'm off gonna have more cocktails um a, a big old steak so the lipstick will be gone which is why i'm going to take the photos before then um and take it out with me and just touch it up over the night i think maybe there's a possibility of more karaoke later thinks he's laughing because he's like possibility <laughs> yeah there's a possibility of the sun coming up in the morning so um, it was really nice for you all to join me from my holiday and I'll catch you all later much love Mwah. Um, bye shall I do a Bailey siren bye see ya